Welcome to Hamer Reviews. My name is Christopher Hamer, and today we're reviewing the Anker 633 wireless charger. This is part of their MagGo series, which is essentially MagSafe compatible chargers for Apple devices, and it costs £70. Now, this is a 10,000 milliamp hour um, battery capacity charger. As I mentioned, it has full MagSafe capacity, so if I stick it on the back of my phone, it's not going anywhere. It is quite heavy, so you can't fling it about too hard, but it will stay in place on your device. And it has some nifty little features up its um, sleeve. So on the back, you actually have a really nice slimline um, kickstand, so you can use it to actually hold your phone in place. So for instance, you could just have your phone up like this in order to just have it on your desk as a stand, or if you're watching a movie, this is great if you're traveling on a plane, for instance, you can use it to prop it up on your table, tray table, or desk. Works really, really well. It's a nice design. It does feel very premium, I must say. So the kickstand itself is metal and it uses a magnet to hold itself in place, which means it is super low profile. Um, the actual materials used are mostly plastic, but they're nice soft touch plastics. Doesn't mean they're fingerprint magnets, but one of those things. You have a USB-C power delivery port on the side, which is capable of 20 watts in and out. So that means you can charge this at 20 watts or charge another device at 20 watts using the USB-C charger. And it has a full USB-A port as well. So this really can charge everything. It also has pass-through capability. So if you are using this, for instance, as your charger um, at home on your nightstand, you could leave your phone connected overnight, um, held in place by those magnets with it plugged into a USB-C charger, and it would charge your phone and the charger, uh, which means in the morning, both your portable charger and your phone are fully charged and ready to go, which is a nice touch. Now, I'm not gonna deny that 70 pounds isn't a lot of money for a wireless charger from a third-party company. I mean, that's undeniable, um, but it is a nice design, and Anker has thought about a lot of things. I mean, first off, having USB-C power delivery does make it very useful for charging um, slightly more power-hungry devices. So, for instance, plugging in a Nintendo Switch, this will be able to charge that quite happily. You know, having a metal kickstand on here does make it feel quite premium as well because you, you have relative certainty that that is going to last a decent amount of time. Obviously, if you bend it back, it's going to snap, but if you're relatively gentle, um, you will be okay. You have a button on the side to activate the charger, though if you're using the magnetic aspect, it will just activate as soon as it's attached to an iPhone, um, as well as the um, lights on the side to tell you what level of charge it has. And I like the fact just generally that it is a nice design. Now, I did also review on this channel the Anker 621, which is the 5,000 milliamp hour version of this charger. It's much smaller, doesn't really tout USB-C power delivery or anything like that. It doesn't have USB-A, but it is much smaller and lighter. But it does mean that if the 621's on your phone, it's quite easy to use your phone at the same time because it's still quite light at 130 grams and it's quite small. It doesn't add a huge amount. Now, if I attach the 633, it does make it quite heavy. I mean, you're adding, what, 200 plus grams to your device, and it just isn't quite as slick, right? So you can see the device is shorter than the charger, but, you know, it is something you're gonna have to live with if, if you're doing that, and it is harder to sort of hold your phone as well. If you have small hands, this isn't gonna be comfortable. As I said, it will get heavy as well, especially with the heavy iPhones. It's compatible with the iPhone 12, 12 Pro, 13, 13 Pro, 14, 14 Pro, etc. as you'd expect. And with the 13 Pro, I got about one and a half to one and three quarter charges um, with my device before the um, MagGo Charger 633 ran out. I think it's perfectly acceptable um, for a 10,000 milliamp hour capacity, and it's roughly in line with what I'd expect, given the fact that this has two of the 5,000 milliamp hour cells which the um, 621 has one of, and I could get about an 85% charge with the 621. So the 633 with double the capacity, hitting roughly double that amount makes complete sense. One thing I want to point out is if you're using this with an Apple device and you have a case on it, do make sure it's a, make sure it's a MagSafe compatible case. So in this case, you can see there's a magnetic ring on the inside of my case because that will ensure that it also stays put on your case as well. Otherwise, if you've got a standard case, it will not stay put and it will not work properly. 
You can use this with other devices as a wireless charger too. Just place it flat on your desk, press the power button and place whichever device it is that you want to use on top and it will work as a standard wireless charger. So even though it does have all of Apple's magnets in it, um, it will still work with other devices as well. And naturally the USB-A and USB-C ports will work too. Now, if you are using it as a wireless charger, the maximum charging rate is 7.5 watts. Whereas if you're using that USB-C, as I mentioned, you're getting 20 watts, which is a much faster charging rate. So do bear that in mind too. It will create quite a lot of heat whilst it's wireless charging devices. That's completely normal, um, just something to be aware of. I mention it because my device did get quite warm when I was doing it, and it's kind of a, a normal behavior, which means that you're losing some of that capacity that you would have got through the um, wireless sort of heat exchange that, you, you, that occurs when you're wirelessly charging. So actually, if you plug it in via USB-C to lightning cable, you'll probably get more capacity out of it. But obviously, it's less convenient. Now, as I mentioned, 70 pounds, quite a lot of money. Is it worth it? Well, if you need that kind of capacity, 10,000 million pounds, so you're gonna be away from a charger for a couple of days, yes, this is great. It's, it's fantastic for sort of that sort of kind of travel scenario, especially if you need a USB-A port and a USB-C port. I do think it'll be worth it for a lot of people. Personally, I actually think that the 621 fits me better. It's 45 pounds, it's a bit cheaper, but it's a lot smaller and lighter, and I'm more likely to chuck this in my bag or more importantly, in my pocket. This is quite heavy. I wouldn't put this in my pocket to charge my phone unless I had a bag with me. So this is definitely a the kind of device that you'd put into a bag, whether it's a backpack or a handbag or whatever else that you're carrying. Um, whereas the 621 is the kind of device I can just chuck in my pocket if I'm, I don't know, going to a concert and think I'm gonna be filming a lot of movies with it on my phone. This is perhaps the kind of thing I'd take with me. It is um, covered by Anker's two-year support. I do think they're a very trustworthy brand. I've been using them for years. I have a number of their chargers. And as such, I do think that they're worth it. You just need to think about your use case and whether it works for you. It's available in a variety of different colors too. I always prefer the black ones personally, but if you want something a bit more fun and have a bit more personality, you can absolutely go down that route as well. In the box, you receive a USB-C to USB-C cable, about, six, about I think it's a 60 centimeter one, um, and that's it. Though, you know, they're kind of expecting you to have a high quality charger to go with this. I recommend Anker's Nano series, it's pretty good. I love their Nano 265 watt charger, um, but any of the standard USB-C chargers you can get will, will work just fine too. So there you have it, the Anker 633 uh, magnetic wireless charger. Fantastic if you have an iPhone, also works well with the um, new second generation AirPods Pro, um, but equally it will charge any device that has wireless, plus you have USB-C and USB-A. Any questions about the device, pop them in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe because it really helps me out. Thanks very much for watching. I hope I see you again next time. Goodbye.